Hi guys, Chris from Blackbox My Car here, and today we're going to be talking about the iRoad Wi-Fi Desktop Viewer. This program will allow you to view and back up your footage directly on your computer, the same way that you would do when your smartphone app, but instead you can save it to your computer, to a hard drive, or to a flash drive. Using this program, you can also modify settings that will be applied the next time you plug your SD card into your dash cam. So what you need to do is take the SD card out of your dash cam, put it into an SD card reader or an adapter, and plug that into your computer, and once that's in, turn on the application and you'll be greeted by this interface here. So what's nice about this viewer is that the video plays back at a very good steady rate. And we can view it in different methods such as one screen, can also do two screens which gives you front and rear view, and picture in picture as well. From here you can also toggle between front and rear by clicking the icon again, just like that. And back to one screen, you can do the same for front and rear. You can also view things in black and white, or change it back to color if you'd like. And you have the ability to magnify different points of the video by simply right clicking on the display. This window can also be dragged, so you can drag the magnifier around with you. This can be done also on the rear camera, just to have a greater level of detail. You can also do this on the two screen, but you can't go between the screens. So let's take a look at the interface of the iRoad viewer itself. Below the previous screen, we have the G sensor detection. So if we click GPS up here, connected. Start recording. you'll see that it notifies whether or not you've hit a certain peak in the G sensor, which would activate impact recording. From this screen, we can also control playback speed. Over here, if you find it a little too fast, we can drop it down to half speed. Okay, let's do this in picture in picture. And quarter speed. You can also go faster, so you can double time it. Or if that's not fast enough, you can go times four. Last but not least is fast forward mode, which looks like a time lapse at that point. And you see that I've been playing with these toggles down here. We have previous event, which allows you to go back to the previous clip. There's also step reverse, which goes backwards a couple of frames. And of course you can play it backwards as well. Standard playback. We also have forward step, which goes a couple of frames as well. And there is repeat event, which allows you to repeat the event that you have selected over here. If you want to get rid of the repeating, just click release and you're good to go. Over here, you can also see the speed. Now keep in mind that the speed will only be enabled if you have the optional GPS accessory that came in addition to the iRoad X9. And here you can toggle the volume of your playback. Now before we get to this row of icons over here, let's take a quick look at the iRoad interface top portion. And over here, what you can do is event search, which allows you to isolate different events. Say for example, normal. and impact. On top of that, you can also look at your GPS signal, which will allow you to look at latitude and longitude. And of course, you can see the quality of the GPS signal as you drive. Assuming that you have the optional GPS accessory with the iRoad X9, what you can also do is what's called vehicle tracking. So click here to connect to Google Maps. This will link all your GPS data to Google Maps. And when you click a clip, for example, and play it back, it'll show you that you're automatically tracking your location where you had the recordings done. Now we have a couple of other options to explore, one of which is panoramic view. With panoramic view, you can see eight frames for the front and eight frames for the back camera. It's almost like you're sitting in a security room. And from here, you can see that it is essentially frame by frame movement 
This is ideal if you had an incident that you recorded and you want to really isolate the exact frame where it happened. Now that we're back to here, the other option is to draw a lane. What you can do by drawing a lane is essentially create a graphic lane. If you wanted to measure the size of the lane and how wide the iRoad X9 records at. Let's apply that and that will show up on your recordings. That's essentially as straight as you can go on the iRoad. But let's remove that for now. Another thing you can do is also print the exact screenshot. So by clicking print, it'll allow you to print either the front or back camera. Let's do both. And as you can see here, this is a print ready format that you can print out on a piece of paper. User input for here, you could place any notes that you had about the incident. Information would be regards to your vehicle type, driver's license. There's the exact time it was recorded, speed that you were going at, latitude and longitude. Of course, front and rear camera view and a map view as well that you can print out. Now keep in mind the speed, latitude, longitude and the map view are limited to those that purchase the optional GPS accessory. We can also back up your footage as well. You can do it as G sensor data, which will give you the shock information, a bitmap file, which is an image and is watermarked by iRoad, a JPEG, which is a simple picture. So you can just save a screenshot and share it on your social media, email, website, and there's JDR backup and AVI backup. JDR backup is using iRoad's proprietary format, and that will allow you to only view the files using the iRoad viewer. AVI can be played back on every single video format, and you can back up more than one file at the same time as well. Front and rear view. You can also disable audio in your backup, and you would just export it or backup to wherever you want to save it, whether that be your hard drive or your computer. Last but not least, we can go into setup. In setup, you can change all of the settings that you have on your dash cam, very much the same way that you can do it on your smartphone app. So what we can change is camera settings, forward and rear camera frames per second, and you can adjust this for normal recording or event recording. We recommend leaving it at 30 as it is the smoothest motion. And also the brightness can be changed if you have any vehicle tint, or if you find that your footage is just too dark based on where you live. You can disable audio recording here so that none of the audio is recorded and you can also turn on and off the security LED on the dash cam. Adjust your time zone here. Turn the buzzer on and off for alerts. Change between kilometers and miles per hour. And last but not least, auto reboot. Auto reboot works by resetting your dash cam at a certain time of the day so that prolonged recordings won't affect the integrity of the dash cam or your micro SD card. You can also go to event and there's the option to disable all the events, but we don't recommend doing that. And from here, you can change the post recording time from the alarm. So say for example, you get into an incident or an incident is detected. This is how long it will record after that. And you can adjust sensitivity here for impact detection, which really depends on where you live and your driving style. Same goes for parking. If it's motion detection, you find that you're triggering too much in a parking lot you can reduce it to low sensitivity or if you find that you're not getting enough action recorded and you you suspect something might have happened change it to high and everything will be recorded you can also change storage capacity used for event footage make sure you have your footage backed up before you change all this as it will remove all your recorded data and there's adas advanced driver assistance systems which is disabled by default if you enable it it will give you three options Lean Departure Warning System, Front Vehicle Start Alarm, and Forward Collision Warning System. Lane Departure Warning System works by warning you when you're leaving a lane at a high speed, and you can set that speed detection over here, 50, 60, or 70 kilometers an hour. It really depends on what kind of zone you're driving in. If you're within the city, leave it at 50. Front Vehicle Start Alarm works by alerting you when the car in front of you starts moving. So say for example, you're at a red light, you're not sure when to start accelerating. When the front vehicle start alarm goes off, it means the car in front has left. And then forward collision warning system lets you know when the braking distance between you and the vehicle in front is too small. You can also change the collision sensitivity detection here if you find that it's alerting you too often. Next up, we have user settings, 
which will allow you to input vehicle information, your driver information, license plate number, and user info as well. There's also LBP, which is low battery protection, and you can adjust this based on your battery. It'll auto power off the dash cam if it finds that the battery capacity is too low so that it doesn't drain too much power from your battery. You can also click on winter low battery protection if you find that you live in a cold environment. And if you go to removable disk, here you can see the settings of your micro SD card. If you have footage that was overwritten that you might want to recover, click on data recovery. And you can also format the micro SD card from here. And last but not least, version settings. Here you can see the version of your operating system, version of the software on your iRoad, and the viewer program as well. So let's take a look here and see what is available. Good, looks like we're on the latest firmware and the latest version of the viewer, meaning we have the most improvements and the best operating at, available to us at the moment. So there you have it. That's it for the iRoad dashcam viewer. I hope you enjoyed this video and please check back for more. Thank you for watching our video. We have so many dashcam options at Black Box My Car. Please come check us out on social media for the latest updates, contests, as well as upcoming dashcam news. Comment if you have any questions and if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up.